What's going on? It's Javan Johnson here. You're watching episode number 134 for about 10 minutes. How you feeling? How you doing? So I'm recording this the Monday after the Super Bowl. That was a good game. Now, if you were rooting for the Seahawks or against the Patriots, then you probably weren't happy with the outcome um, of the game. But it was a good game. I mean, it was a competitive game. It was lead changes. I mean, it was close at the end. It came down to the last play. And as far as me, I was rooting for the Patriots, you know. I'm a Detroit Lions fan, but I'm also a University of Michigan football fan, so I was rooting for Tom Brady. I talked about that in the past, so, you know, you can watch past episodes if you want to go into more detail. And a lot of people have been talking about the last play of the game. I'm not thinking like, no, they should have gave the ball to Marshawn Lynch and let him run it in. I understand. You know, I've been hearing that. I get it, you know. But, um, you know, for somebody who's rooting for the Patriots, I'm glad they did what they did. You know, I'm glad that they was able to make a stop. And, I mean, and they also, like, I mean, let's look at the play. Let's look at the man who made the interception. I mean, that was, that was a big-time play. I think it's safe to say that regardless of who you was rooting for, there's times throughout that game where you was hyped. Like, man, okay, you know, I, I think it was a time where it was looking like, you know, it was going New England's way. Like in that first half, it was looking like New England was really in control of the game. But then you look at the halftime, and the game is tied. But then on the flip side, in the second half, it looked like Seattle was, was getting in control of the game. And it was looking like things was going their way. And then here comes New England. Like, that's the thing about sports. I mean, it's like things can happen. Adversity can happen. And, um, you know, you had an opportunity to respond to that adversity. And you look at it, Tom Brady threw some interceptions. He threw two interceptions. You, you know, there's times where you may have adversity or challenges, but it's really, you know, how you handle those challenges. I mean, it's important to learn from the mistake, but not to keep beating yourself up about a mistake. So, so yeah, that's what's going on on that tip. And so another thing in sports that I'm really looking forward to is the NBA All-Star Weekend. You know, that's coming up here uh, pretty soon. I like the NBA All-Star Saturday night. I like the slam dunk contest. You know, I, I really like that. So it should be interesting to see um, how, how, how that Saturday night goes and how the All-Star game goes. The, the NBA is definitely, if you look at it, it, it's definitely different, I think, than a lot of people thought it would have been as far as when you look at the standings, when you look at who's on top right now, when you look at how well Atlanta is doing. The thing about it is when you play team basketball, it's a lot you can get accomplished. Don't let the world deceive you, people stay focused on Jesus Christ, obey the word of God and always be a living sacrifice, remain consistent in your walk, keep building every day, diligently seek the Lord the best you can, don't fall away, if you're feeling all alone, remember God is there for you, always keep your faith in him, every word he says is true, be faithful and mature, be able to endure in your walk with Jesus Christ, live a lifestyle that is pure, never compromise the truth or go alone with any lie, remember Christians we've been set apart, our flesh we should be nice, submit to Christ and be led by has there ever been a time in your life where you really wanted something really bad? What maybe it was something specific that you wanted to buy, and so you know you went out and you bought it, but then after the fact you was thinking like, man, I kind of wish I wouldn't have bought this. I kind of wish I would have waited, you know, and did things a little bit differently after the fact. You know, sometimes we can have those moments. Maybe it may not even be something that, that you wanted to buy, but maybe it could be something else, another personal goal in your life. You're thinking like, okay, I want to go out and do this now, or I want to go out and move right now, or do this or do that, and you're going to rush out and do something. You know, and then you go out and do it, and you're like, man, maybe that wasn't the time for it. One thing about life is it's important to do things in the right timing. It's important for us to seek God, you know, to spend time with him and to do things in his timing. You know, patience is a very important thing. And sometimes patience can be very hard sometimes because you can want to go out and do something and make something happen. But the thing about it is God can have a different plan than the plan that we have. You know, and going even back to, you know, with the Super Bowl, if you look at like Tom Brady, the type of quarterback he is and even the way the Patriots play, I mean, Tom Brady is the type of quarterback that, you know, he can march up the field. I mean, he, he can take like a 10-yard pass here, you know, a 7-yard pass here and march up the field. He doesn't necessarily have to throw those long passes. He can throw long passes, but I mean, he, he can just march up the field, take his time, you know, have the ball for a long period of time. And then you look up and it's like they're in the red zone. You know, they're about to score. And so you look at him, you know, he's a patient type of quarterback. And so, you know, sometimes in our lives, sometimes we may want to throw those long passes. We may want to go out and do something real quick where, where that may not be what God wants us to do. God may have a totally different plan. It may be a plan that takes a little bit longer, but it's still going to get us there. And along the way, we could be learning different things. You know, it could be various things that God wants us to learn along the way. It could be a situation where you put in a situation where you're dealing with a very difficult person. It could be a person that's pushing your buttons, and you had to learn how to handle that. So God could allow you to be in that circumstance so you could grow in that area. Or it could be a number of other situations where, you know, that gives you the opportunity to grow. And it may seem like things aren't really working out the way that you want them to work out. But the thing about it is to keep making the progress. Once again, it's like you look at football, if you keep going down the field and you keep going towards the end zone and you eventually get to the end zone and score, then that's the goal. You're trying to score. 
And so the thing about it is, you know, sometimes it may it may take some steps. It may take a little bit of time. It may not be that 70 yard pass, that 70 yard touchdown pass. It may not be that 80 yard touchdown run. You know, but it may be marching up the field, systematically taking your time, and then scoring that way. Thank you for watching episode number 134 of about 10 minutes. Have a blessed week.